Hey, this is Marla with MarlaGetsFit.com, and today is day number 390 of my low carb, high fat lifestyle change. It is another rainy day here in Grants Pass, Oregon. It has been nothing but rain, it seems like, for weeks and weeks and weeks. Uh, we did have some, it was a pretty nice day yesterday. It was nice and sunny, but um, back to rain today. And the sun did come peek out of the clouds a little bit, a little bit earlier, but we're back to rain now. And it is Easter. I hope you had a really wonderful Easter with your family. Um, today, let's see, today we decided to, I'm sticking with low carb, so I made, we made ham, I made uh, riced cauliflower veggies, which is really, really good. And it's no rice, it has cauliflower instead of the rice. And then I made um, a deviled eggs salad. I decided to do something kind of like a potato salad substitute. It has, um, of course, eggs, and it's like a deviled egg. I had chopped up the eggs into larger chunks, and then the the yolk I mixed in with mayonnaise and um, mayonnaise and mustard. And I did chop up a little bit of green onions in there and mixed it all together. And oh my gosh, it's so yummy! It's great. I totally would be satisfied um, with that instead of potato salad. So I wanted to show you some pictures of um, some egg fun, egg decorating fun, and our dinner and a couple of things for today. This is our Easter meal and I am sticking with the low carb today. So I've got ham, I've got cauliflower rice, um, not, it's cauliflower cut up into bits, not actual rice, but it tastes really yummy. And then I made out of our Easter eggs, I made a, a deviled egg salad, which is um, eggs, of course, the hard boiled eggs, and then mayonnaise and some mustard and it's so, so, so good. Yummy. As you uh, saw the yummy meal we had today and then um, we decorated some Easter eggs with the shaving cream method, which seems to be very popular this year because everybody's talking about it. it seemed, um, it worked out really well. The eggs were really pretty, a um, little bit messy, but it was a lot of fun. And then earlier today, I did go out to the Human Bean, and they have a low-carb drink, so I wanted to try it out, and it was really, really good. It tasted like a chocolate uh, milkshake, but it's low-carb, and made with their low-carb mix, um, low-carb powder, I guess, and half and half, and ice, and crushed up, so it tastes a lot like a milkshake. So it was a really good, I you know, nice treat to have once in a while. And then I wanted to show you, since everyone's having candy today, for me, I bought myself a couple of low-carb treats, and it's Russell Stover's sugar-free candies. Uh, these are awesome. I I usually eat these, um, and I have one or two once in a while. But it's a coconut chocolate-covered coconut, and it, you know, tastes a lot like the Mounds, which I love Mounds bars. And these are for three pieces, is one serving, and it comes out to zero net carbs. It has sugar alcohols, of course, so you don't want to eat a ton of these and limit yourself to, you know, every once in a while. This one was a new one I saw, and it's strawberry cream, and this one is really, really good. Now, this one comes out, it's still three pieces for serving, but it comes out to one net carb. So, a little bit more carbs on this one. I would not use many of these at all, but, you know, for a treat once in a while, and it sure as heck is better than eating, um, eating you know, candy, Snickers, and all that kind of stuff from your Easter basket. So, definitely a nice treat. Uh, other than that, doing really good. I did have my first uh, meeting at the YMCA about, you know, getting fit, the Lose It program. And mostly it was just weighing and measuring and doing some basics. Um, I think next week we're supposed to maybe get with our personal trainer and start more of the exercise program. And also, I did talk to them about... I met with the volleyball person, she's in charge of volleyball, and she says they have a drop-in volleyball every Wednesday afternoon from 1 to 3, so I'm going to definitely start going to that because I love volleyball, and hopefully I'll meet some more volleyball people and maybe find a team I can get on for the next league when it starts up, or maybe even, you know, if a people need a person for um, a game here and there, I would love to pick up a game, so that would be awesome, getting some exercise there. Um, 
I, let's see, I think, anything else happening? Not a whole lot else, I guess. <laughs> Just the usual grind. Um, I do want to start, hopefully, if we get some nice weather, to get on my mountain bike and try doing some exercise outside. I really don't like doing, you know, gym stuff like treadmill or bicycle on the inside. It just is so boring to me. It, it seems like one minute is an hour long. So I really prefer doing actual sports or fun things like that. So hopefully it'll start to actually act like spring around here and I can uh, <laughs> get outside and do some more things. But other than that, I hope you had a wonderful uh, Easter. And whether you decided to stay low carb or not, you know, you know, every once in a while having a cheat meal, I definitely will do that for special occasions, but I didn't feel like a... I just really didn't feel like doing it this time, and it was so easy to get around it. You know, ham and the rice vegetables and the deviled deviled egg salad was so good. I didn't need to do that. So I uh, hope you had a great time, and I would love to hear from you. You know, what did you have for Easter? What did you do? Um, send me your messages and comment on my video and on my posts, and I will see you on my next update.